It was a weekend that marked the dawning of a new era for poker in Australia. The inaugural main event was the first time that players representing three of Australia's premier pub poker brands, the 888 Poker League, the Australian Poker League and Pub Poker, came together in pursuit of a prestigious national title under the banner of the Full House Group. Visionary in its structure, the main event was more than just a poker tournament. It was state against state, mate against mate, bringing together 559 of the best players this country has to offer. Qualifying through nightly events held all over Australia, our players came from far and wide to take their seat at one of our country's biggest and most prestigious poker tournaments. For some, it was through targeted satellite events they found their way to Melbourne, while others won their tickets in state champs, pro opens, and our golden ticket special event. While poker was certainly the draw card of the weekend, the entire tournament provided three days of non-stop colour and spectacle. It was evident from the diverse range of players at the main event just how inclusive poker really is. Attracting contenders from every age, ability and ethnicity, never has the message that poker is accessible to everyone been more clear than at the opening ceremony. Filled to capacity and buzzing with excitement, the Crown Poker Room was a shining example that poker is one of the true round table games and the catchphrase, everybody's game, found its home. At the players party, the fun continued as players kicked up their heels, had a drink and danced the night away. While not every player was able to make their mark on the tables, everyone had a chance to create a little piece of history by signing the player wall. With messages of goodwill, thanks and congratulations, the player wall will remain a part of the Full House group and main event legend for years to come. When the cards hit the felt, the action really heated up. As day three drew to a close, it was down to 10. Chip leader, 28-year-old Illawarra player Nathan Gauchi hit the final table with a staggering lead. But it would be hours before the inaugural champion was crowned. On the rail, support shown for the final 10 was unprecedented in Crown Poker Tournament history. Covered by Poker Media Australia and the rail, the tournament and its support will surely go down in history as one of the most exciting moments in Australian poker. As the final contenders were slowly sent to join their support networks, it all came down to two. Nathan Gauchi and 60-year-old Campbelltown grandmother of nine, Marion Fisher. The pair showed each other no mercy as they fought it out for the title and after a fierce 17-hand bout, we congratulated our inaugural main event champion, Nathan Gauchi. The tournament was one that will long be remembered as one of the most successful events in the history of Australian poker. This main event will certainly be hard to top, but that's a challenge we at Full House Group look forward to and will take in our stride. We love poker and we're already in the planning stages to bring our players the next incredible instalment of the main event.